Um, now, the downside of this commit is um, of this approach rather is if you're doing a lot of branching, and typically with Git, if you're doing a branch per feature, you end up with a lot of branches going on uh, simultaneously. Is that if you're constantly merging back in, and uh, if you're using Git properly, then typically you're merging the changes made to master back into your working branch frequently from time to time to make sure your working uh, directory doesn't keep uh, doesn't get out of date. Um, is that you can sort of end up with something like this, which looks more like a um, a tube map than source control history, where you've got all these different branches going on, merges between them, and and it can be quite complicated to follow. And in this situation, Git offers another feature called rebase, which allows you to do something similar to a merge, but instead of bringing two commits together, it rewrites the history of the repository so it looks like the commits happened in a linear fashion. So it, you can pretend that, in the case of our example, the changes to master happen first, followed immediately by the changes uh, to the featured artist on exactly the same um, branch. This is more an advanced feature, so I'm not really going to go into that at the moment, but it's an option that's there, but it's a bit more dangerous because you're rewriting the Git history. So you have to be careful about when you push if you've rebased uh, any branches.